students this is the fourth class of sulfonamides and it is the continuation of important sulfur drugs so first we are going to see sulfur methoxazole so this is the basic nucleus present in the sulfonamide so what is that sulf anilamido group so uh, here we have a benzene ring here nh2 so2 nso this is called as sulf anilamido group with the sulf anilamido group what is attached this ring is called as isoxazole so according to priority order oxygen is getting higher priority because o as in that would be the order so oxygen is getting higher priority so 1 2 3 4 5 so methyl group is attached with the fifth position of isoxazole and here this isoxazole is connected to nh at the third position so its chemical name is 4 amino n or n1 5 methyl isoxazole 3 yl or 3 isoxazole l benzene sulfonamide so that is the chemical name it is used in the treatment of meningitis lower urinary tract infections caused by e coli and proteus mirabilis now we'll see the synthesis of sulfur methoxazole there will be two steps for the synthesis one is preparation of 3 amino 5 methyl isoxazole so here we have taken carboxymido acetone as a starting material why because this is called as amide co nh2 is called amide or carboxamide and this part no this is called as acetone so that's why totally it can be called carboxamido acetone that one on reaction with hydroxyl amine what happens o combines with h2 and removed as water that's why that noh is added here and we are getting oxam derivative and this one undergoes tautomerism so here we have a, e, a keto form and that is converted to enol form so how it is converted to that here we have two hydrogens no so one hydrogen is added with oxygen and converted to oh so this bond no that is coming here to satisfy the valency of these two carbons and on cyclization what happens this oh and h removed as water and that's why this nitrogen and oxygen may be connected to form isoxazole ring so what is the chemical name for that this is number 1 2 3 4 5 that's why 3 amino 5 methyl isoxazole in step 2 that 3 amino 5 methyl isoxazole is added with para acetamido benzene sulfonal chloride already we have come across this in first synthesis so by the addition of these two this h and cl is removed as hcl and so2 is added with nh and we are getting this one then on hydrolysis by means of sodium hydroxide this acetamido part is hydrolyzed and we are getting nh2 so that is called as sulfa methoxazole next drug is sulfa diazin so from the name itself we can say it is having di as also two nitrogens are present here so this is called basic one that is called sulf anilamido group with that pyrimidine is attached second position of pyrimidine is added with sulf anilamido group that's why its chemical name is 4 amino n 2 pyrimidinyl benzene sulfonamide and it is administered as a 5% solution in sterile water intravenously for patients requiring an immediately high blood levels of sulfonamides so what is the ring heterocyclic ring present in sulfa diazin that is called pyrimidine so second position of pyrimidine is added with the sulf anilamido group this is silver sulfa diazin it is otherwise called as silvadin so same as it of a sulfa diazin here we have one sulfur so here usually in sulfa diazin what we have so2 nh we are having so here the h is replaced by means of silver that's why it is called silver sulfa diazin so same name we have to include only sulf uh, silver so what is the chemical name 4 amino n 4 amino n pyrimidine 2 il or pyrim 2 pyrimidinyl mono silver salt of benzene sulfonamide it is an effective topical antimicrobial agent especially against the pseudomonas species and it is used in burn therapy now we'll see the synthesis of silver sulfa diazin it is having three steps now we'll see step 1 that is the preparation of two amino pyrimidine so here guanidin and formyl acetic acid are taken as the starting materials already we have known what is meant by guanidin nh2 co nh that can be called as urea here instead of o we have nh means that is called guanidin so guanidin is treated with formyl acetic acid we have known ch3 coh is acetic acid so here it would be added 
so what is that added formic acid is added means that can be called formyl acetic acid so by the addition of these two what happens there may be removal of two molecules of water that is by taking oh and h here one molecule would be removed and here what happens this oh and h so here one molecule would be removed so because of the removal of two molecules of water there may be cyclization and we are getting that pyrimidine ring and having one end nh2 another end double bond o i mean ketone then it undergoes tautomerism so keto form would be converted to enol form so because of that here the h is come here and attached with the oxygen and that's why this double bond no from the, the one is moving here and that would be added here so we got this one so enol form we are getting now that would be treated with uh, POCl3 and it undergoes chlorination and we are getting chloro derivative of this one then on reaction with uh, zinc and ammonium hydroxide that chlorine would be removed and we are getting two amino pyrimidine so that is the product we are getting in step one so what we are getting in step one two amino pyrimidine Now we'll see step two. That is preparation of sulfur diazine. So here the starting material is para acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride. Already we have come across this one where we have seen in sulfur methyl synthesis we have seen para acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride. So first we have taken this and that would be added with the product you are getting in step one. So what is the two amino pyrimidine? So by the addition of these two, what happens here? Cl and H that is removed as HCl. That's why with the SO2, NH and this thing, that pyrimidine would be added and we are getting that. Okay, then on hydrolysis by means of sodium hydroxide, here we have that uh, para-acetamido group, no? So that would be hydrolyzed and here there is a cleavage between nitrogen and carbon. There may be a cleavage and H is added with NH and OH is added with CO CH3 and removed as CH3 COOH. So here we are getting only NH2. This is called as sulfa diazin. So how we are getting sulfa diazin by treating with para acetamido benzene sulfonyl chloride with two amino pyrimidine HCl is removed and we got this then on hydrolysis we are getting sulfa diazin. Third step is preparation of silver sulfa diazin. So with the sulfa diazin simply silver is added by the addition what happens H is replaced by means of silver and we are getting silver sulfa diazin. Next one is sulfa salicin. So this is the structure of sulfa salicin. So what is it? It is having pyridine nucleus and second position is attached with NHSO2. So that is connected with phenyl and that one with two nitrogens connected by means of double bond. So two nitrogens and that is connected with benzoic acid hydroxybenzoic acid that is connected with hydroxybenzoic acid so what is how how the numbering would be here the benzoic acid is taken as the parent so which benzoic acid it is hydroxybenzoic acid so here the numbering would be starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 so fifth with the fifth position of benzoic acid only the whole thing would be attached okay and this is um, second portion, second portion what we have hydroxy group or we can say it is hydro. So its chemical name is 2 hydro. So second portion we have OH. So we can write 2 hydro or 2 hydroxy. You can write 2 hydroxy. 2 hydroxy. This is the fifth portion. So with the fifth portion these are all would be attached. So what is that? With the fifth what is attached? So this is called as phenyl. For, uh, for the phenyl this is first portion. 1, 2, 3, 4. So in the phenyl fourth portion only we are adding uh, it would be added with the pyridine amino group sulfonyl group that's why 5 open bracket 4 in that what it is pyridine. So second portion of pyridine is added with that that's why 2 pyridinyl amino sulfonyl phenyl azo azo or we can say diazo diazo benzoic acid so that is the chemical name. In here write diazo okay so here similarly instead of hydro you can write hydroxy so what is the chemical name so 2 hydroxy because this is 1 so 2 hydroxy this is fifth portion so 5 uh, in the phenyl this is fourth portion so this is first and this is fourth so 4 2 pyridinyl 
amino sulfonyl phenyl diazo benzoic acid so that is the chemical name of sulfa salicin and this sulfa salicin no this is a pro drug and it can be broken down into meta amino salicylic acid and sulfa pyridine by means of the enzyme called azo reductase so this azo reductase enzyme cleaves this one into two products how it is cleaving here we have double bond no between two nitrogen so that would be cleaved and that would be cleaved and here what happens two hydrogens are added with this nitrogen and two hydrogens are added with this nitrogen so we are getting two products one is this one so this is called as meta amino salicylic acid according to that this is ortho this is meta so meta amino meta amino salicylic acid plus we have sulfa pyridine nh2 here so2 nh pyridine no that's why it is called sulfa pyridine so here the we are getting meta amino salicylic acid no that is having anti inflammatory activity and sulfa pyridine no that is having antibacterial activity so what is that it is a pro drug that can be broken down into two products by means of the enzyme called azo reductase so there may be reduction where the reduction is in the azo so nitrogen no that would be reduced so here the bond is cleaved two hydrogens are added with this nitrogen and two hydrogens with this nitrogen so we are getting two products one is meta amino salicylic acid another one is sulfa pyridine this is having anti inflammatory activity and this is having anti bacterial activity next one is mefenide so this is a structure of mefenide so what is that it is having benzene ring and here we have ch2 nh2 here so2 nh2 in the case of sulfonamides with the benzene ring here we have only nh2 here so2 nh2 that is for sulfonamides but here instead of nh2 it is having ch2 nh2 so it is not a sulfonamide it is a homolog of sulfonamide so what is the chemical name fourth position it is not having nh simply not having nh2 it is having ch2 nh2 so amino methyl so four amino methyl benzene sulfonamide it is a homolog of sulfonamide and it is not a sulfonamide so what is the mechanism of sulfonamide that should inhibit paba so it is not inhibiting paba it is effective against clostridium welchi in topical application and prophylaxis of wounds it is not effective orally it is currently used alone or with antibiotics in the treatment of slow healing infected wounds what is the main disadvantage of mefenide metabolic acidosis so to prevent this it is available in an acetate form in the ointment base as an ointment base so that's all about mefenide